Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari, recording for the Daily Reminder Network. There are many forces of evil at work around us 24-7. And as believers, it is of utmost importance that we take the necessary precautionary measures that have been taught to us by Rasulullah to protect ourselves from these harmful forces. And inshallah for today's episode, we will be touching on one of these harmful forces and that is the evil eye. There's a lot of content to be covered, so we decided on dividing the content into two parts, inshallah ta'ala. The sunnah that we hope to revive is ta'weedul atufal. In other words, the prophetic manner of seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection for our children from these harmful forces. May Allah azza wa jal protect all of our children. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the evil eye is true. It is not some magical myth from a Harry Potter book or a Lord of the Rings book. Nay, Rasulullah is reported to have said, The evil eye is true. Al Ain is an Arabic term which is translated as the evil eye. And it refers to when an individual harms another person with his or her eyes. Imam Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah is reported to have said that the evil eye is like an arrow cast from the soul of the one who envies. Sometimes it hits the target and sometimes it misses the target. If the target is exposed and unprotected, then the arrow will hit him. But on the other hand, if the target is cautious and armed, then the arrow will have no effect on him and it may even recoil back to the one who launched the arrow. Allahu Akbar. The evil eye is of two types. One which is cast due to jealousy or envy and the other type which is cast due to excessive admiration. Now category number one is clearly understood but number two sounds a little perplexing for us to comprehend. Let me give you all a narration uh, to prove category number two. And this particular narration has been recorded in the Musnad of Imam Ahmad rahimahullah. And the narration goes along the lines of these words. Once the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a few of his companions were journeying and they crossed a particular valley and they decided to pitch camp over there. So when they pitched camp, there was one companion by the name Sahal ibn Hanif radiallahu anh. He decides to go take a bath. So whilst he was bathing, he exposes his upper body. There was another companion and his name was Amir ibn Rabia. The minute he saw this particular Sahabi, this particular companion taking a bath, he uttered a statement out of excessive admiration, he said, what beautiful skin you have got. Because the Sahabi, the companion who was taking a bath, had blemish-free, flawless white skin. So Amir ibn Rabi'ah, he looks at this particular Sahabi and says, what beautiful skin you have. The minute he uttered this statement, the companion, the companion who was taking a bath, he fell to the ground. Allahu Akbar. News travels to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam very strongly rebukes the Sahabi who cast the evil eye by saying or by asking him, why are you trying, why are you trying to kill your own brother? If you see something that you like in your brother, make dua, make, pray to Allah that Allah blesses your brother or blesses that thing that belongs to your brother. Allahu Akbar. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam immediately commanded that particular sahabi, the one who cast the evil eye to take a bath and the water that was dripping from his body to be collected in a particular utensil and for that water to be poured over the companion who fell down unconscious. The minute that water was poured on that particular companion, he gets up as if nothing had ever afflicted him. Subhanallah. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, from this we understand that even innocent little children can be affected by the evil eye that is cast by their own parents or relatives who look at them with excessive admiration or excessive love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of our children. Ameen. A few things that can be derived from this particular narration is that number one, 
the prophetic cure for evil eye. If you know precisely who the individual was who cast the evil eye, then you can go up to him and ask him to take a bath and give you the water. And you can use the water to pour it upon the individual who was affected with the evil eye and be idnillah, he will be cured from the ill effects of the evil eye. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. And number two is that if someone comes to you and asks you to take a bath and give him or her the water, then it is upon you to comply. Because at times, involuntarily, at times, even without your knowledge, you may cast the evil eye. May Allah Azza wa Jal save us all from becoming targets of the evil eye. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from casting the evil eye upon others. Now moving on to the action item that was taught to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a protective measure to protect our children from the evil eye. This particular narration is recorded in in the book of Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us a dua, a supplication to recite to protect our children. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited this supplication for his two grandchildren, al-Hasan and al-Hussein radiyallahu anhuma. The dua, the supplication is, أُعِيذُكُمَا بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّةِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ وَهَامَّةِ وَمِنْ كُلِّ عَيْنٍ لَامَّةِ let me repeat. أُعِيذُكُمَا بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّةِ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ وَهَامَّةِ وَمِنْ كُلِّ عَيْنِ اللَّامَّةِ The meaning. أُعِيذُكُمَا بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّةِ Refuge is sought for the two of you. In other words, Hassan and Hussein رضي الله عنهما. Refuge is sought for the two of you by virtue of the perfect words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the devil from vermin and from the evil eye. This is a beautiful sunnah taught to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, let me ask all of you a question. Do you think that an individual could cast the evil eye upon his own self? Do you think that an individual could cast the evil eye upon his own self? To find out more, Catch us on the next episode of the Sunnah Revival series, Bi'idhnillah, every Wednesday, only on the Daily Reminder Network. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing Sunnah Revival. Jazakumullah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.